we have the problem 20 from 2018 AMC 12 B given to us. Let A, B, C, D, E, F be a regular hexagon with side length 1. Well, we have a geometry problem, so the first thing we should do is to draw an accurate diagram or a diagram that's as accurate as we can possibly get it. So let's try to draw a regular hexagon. Let's draw a regular hexagon and it has a side length of 1. Let's read on. Denote by x, y, and z the midpoints of sides a, b, c, d, and e, f. So let's label a, b, c, d, e, f. And we have x being the midpoint of side a, b. So here is x. y being the midpoint of side c, d. So here is y. And z being the midpoint of side e, f. EF, so let's put it right there. And let's read on. What is the area of the convex hexagon whose interior is the intersection of the interiors of ACE, triangle ACE, which is this triangle, ACE, so the one that stretches like this, so this equilateral triangle inside by symmetry, and XYZ, and we see that XYZ is going to be equilateral triangle too, by symmetry once again. So we have XYZ, XYZ, and we wish to find the area of this hexagon, this hexagon inside. So we have this hexagon right inside, and we wish to find the area of this hexagon. So how can we? Well, one way you may say is that we can maybe find the area of one of the equilateral triangles, for example, say ACE, then we can take away these three triangles, the areas of the three triangles from that area, and we should, we should find the area of this hexagon. And that's the way we're going to approach this. So which triangle should we start with? Should we, triangle, should we start with triangle XYZ or ACE? Which triangle is it easier for us to find the area of? Well, in my opinion, I think triangle ACE is an easier place to start because we have this, we have this triangle AEF given to us right here. And using this, it's very easy to find the length of the side AE or similarly AC or CE because but for x, y, z, we have the we have to work with this trapezoid or break apart the trapezoid to other shapes, and I feel like that's going to take us more time. So let's start with triangle ACE. So let me just highlight this one more time. We, let's focus on this equilateral triangle. So we're going to find the area of this equilateral triangle, and we're going to find the way find the area of this this small triangle, multiply that by 3, by symmetry you know they are going to have same areas, and take it away from area of ACE to find our answer. So, to find the area of equilateral triangle, all we need to know is its side length. You may know the formula, area of equilateral triangle is side squared times square root of 3 over 4, and there are other ways of doing it, but this is probably the fastest way, and if you're at question 20 of AMC 12, the chances are you know this formula by heart. So let's use it. And how can we possibly find the side lengths? Well, we have the irregular hexagon. So we know this angle is 120 degrees. And you know these two are going to be 30 degrees because this triangle is isosceles. So if we drop down a perpendicular, perpendicular like this, we have 30, 60, 90 triangle given to us. And since the hypotenuse is 1, you know this length is going to be 1 half. And you know, then you know that this length, this length is going to be square root of 3 over 2. And that's telling us, and that's telling us that the entire length, AE, is going to be twice that, or square root of 3. So you know this entire length is square root of 3. So what's the area of ACE? So the area of ACE is going to be side length squared or square root of 3 squared times square root of 3 over 4 or 3 times square root of 3 over 4. Now we have to find the area of one of these tiny triangles, one of these tiny triangles, and by symmetry, we know all three of them are going to have the same areas, so we just have to find one of them. So how can we find the area of this orange triangle? 
to begin with, realize that since we have equal equilateral triangle, we know this angle is going to be 60 degrees. And by symmetry, you know this thing is 30 degrees. These two have to be the same. And we know that this angle, since that's equilateral triangle, is 60 degrees. So you know this thing is also 60 and this thing is also 60. And that's telling us that this angle is 90 degrees. So we have another 30, 60, 90 triangle right here. And that's going to allow us to quickly find the area of this 30, 60, 90 triangle. So how can we find the area of this triangle? Well, all we need to know is base and height. And we know the hypotenuse is square root of 3 over 2. So you know this hypotenuse is square root of 3 over 2. That's telling you, let me just draw this triangle outside, just for simplicity. So we have 30, 60, 90 triangle given to us. That's 30, that's 60, this thing is 90. And you know this is square root of 3 over 2. That's telling us that this side is square root of 3 over 4. And this side is going to be this thing times square root of 3, or 3 fourths. So the area of this thing is going to be square root of 3 over 4 times 3 over 4 times 1 half or 3 times square root of 3 over over 32. So now we are basically done. We have we start with tri area of triangle ACE. So 3 times square root of 3 over 4. And we're going to take away 3 times this triangle because we have 3 of them. So we want to take away 9 times square root of 3 over 32, which is 32 with common denominator, and we have 24 times square root of 3 minus 9 times square root of 3, or 15 times square root of 3 over 32, and this thing is precisely the answer choice C.